And uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I heard, was going to have a third, but I don't know if that's been announced yet. Anyway, back to Dragon Warrior. Um, as a Dragon Warrior fan, I picked up the game actually not expecting to like it as much as I did. Because um, I think I had a similar re-meet with... Um, Oh, what was it that I picked up? Oh, I can't remember, but like it was some game series that I hadn't de you know tapped into for a while, and then like actually I think it was I think it was Pokemon Gold Heart Gold or Soul Silver. I I had Heart Gold. Have you know like I'm a I, I am a Pokemon fan. I can't really give a high or low level. I think I'm pretty neutral when it comes to that point. I, I enjoy the games. I don't plan to actually buy another Pokemon game after Hard Gold. You know, I think that po Generation 1 and 2 were, you know, the prime, and then Generation 3 onward is a decline. Seeing some of the uh, preliminary Pokemon for the the new the new the new generation that they're working on, uh, I'm kind of glad that I'm getting out. And we're still on the hunt for Bruce Elm in, in, you know, getting back to Ghostmaster for a second. And then, switching gears yet again to Dragon Warrior. here. I was very pleasantly surprised with how much I'm enjoying this game. You know, uh, it's got a lot of charm to it for Dragon Warrior fans. I, I really can't tell if a non-Dragon Warrior fan would enjoy it, though. Because it's kind of got, like, a, a very strange charm to it that, it, you know, like... You know, people who aren't really fans of that charm already, I don't think that they would be able to get into it quite as much. You know, like, there's a lot of there's a lot of unnecessary alliteration in the game. There's a lot of, um... There's a very, very clever naming, though. I'd say, like, you know, like, the names of some of the, the plot characters that you meet are actually really clever. You know, like, it's like they're, they're, us they're actually... Um... I think every, almost every name that I've run into so far that's like one of the plot characters, like what you do is you're going from town to town, pretty much like in Dragon Warrior style. He's like, I go to a new town. Oh, everybody's got a problem. I guess I'm going to fix the problem. He fixed the problem. Thanks for fixing our problem. Okay, bye. I'm going to a new town now. What's their problem? You know, it's like, and like the, the, the centric character of each town, all of their names actually foreshadow, you know, what's going to happen with that story. And it's, it's kind of, it's, um... It's amusing, is the is the word I'd give it. Because, I mean, I didn't really start, you know, like, I noticed, you know, at the, at the end of the story, it's like, oh, they've got that name, that's kind of funny, you know, like, how the, you know. And even, I can say that it foreshadows what's going to happen in the story. For the most part, you're actually not going to be able to guess why, because it's one of those things that's like, oh, okay. I guess that makes sense now, and now the name is funny. It, it's amusing. But there's a lot of really, like, weird alliteration in that game that's just not necessary. And sometimes the alliteration that they use leads to iffy wording, but it's only for flavor text. It's not like the descriptions for spells and stuff have stupid uh, alliterations, which are actually, you know, amusing as well. Like, um, you get a Navi-type character in this game because it's actually somewhat multiplayer-centric. Like, they have a really streamlined DS multiplayer system that is very Animal Crossing-esque, but faster. Uh, so, but the, the sacrifice for that is that, um, you don't get, like, handed a, a supporting cast that's, like, got personalities and such. Like, that's actually something I enjoy, though. You know, but you don't have, like, Oh, here's, you meet this guy with a giant axe, and his name is Toby, and he's gonna join your party for whatever reason. He's looking for his wife. And you've got this named, girl named Clarice, and she's a cleric, of all things, and she's gonna heal your party, and she's looking for her... She's out to prove that she can be a cleric. You don't have that. In fact, uh, it's also got silent protagonism, which is a... From what I'm aware of, a staple of Dragon Warrior. Dragon Warriors 1, 2, 3, and 9 have it. I'm sure they probably don't have that in 
all the other ones. And that's by, except for, you know, you have yes and no in that little box that opens up. This game does have illusion of free choice. It's like, hey, are you going to go help me? No, because I don't like you. Well, but the thing is that they handle the illusion of free choice better than, you know, older games do. Because it's like... Uh... It's not, it's not like it just, it doesn't flat out say, well, you have to. It's, you know, like, what it'll essentially do is, like, the one time that I've been inclined to say no when I know that I don't have a choice, and it's, like, uh, early in the game, you know, like, there's, like you come to this uh, small town, and, like, there's this kid here that, I, that you don't like, and he's like, hey, you gotta come help me uh, clear this rubble. And you're like, no, I don't want to help you, because you're gonna, you know, it's because like, I don't like you. And it's like, so I'm like, no. And then he's like, but it'd be a great way to repay your debt to that girl who helped you out because they'd be helping her out because she needs that rubble clear. So don't you want to help me now? And you're like, well, I do want to help her, even though I don't want to help you. So I guess, yes, is the honest answer to that question. I do want to help her. It's like, great, then you're coming with me. And I'm like, Argh. But anyway, back to the point that I've been orbiting for a very long time. I forgot what it was great game. Didn't expect it to be so good. Um, no personalities. The personalities that you're fed are through supporting cast. You know, like the, the stories that the, each town gives you. And you get a Navi type character to make up for the fact that your party doesn't technically have a personality. Um, she speaks in alliterations. More so than not. And she's very eccentric. Which I, it's alright. There's another point that I intend to make. I get a very... I get, you know, the feeling that I get from this game, playing through it, is very similar to the feeling that I got from playing through uh, Paper Mario on the Nintendo 64, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. I love that. Anyway, I finally got uh, Hypnos into the Red Ward area. If y'all didn't notice what I did... I think I knocked one of the orderlies unconscious, and then I sna slapped Hypnos on him at that point. But, uh, but now he's in, so we can get Elm out and then scare everybody away. So, hooray! I skip them again. 